gotta love that new starter guys well I got 16 feet of deck loaded on the back of Eddie aka the Papa's car trailer let's go get us a $200 truck let's try not to hit the shop on the way out with the trailer either I gotta grab my Oh, I gotta grab my chains and binders. I'm not driving the 97 today because diesel versus gas, it's cheaper to take this across the, the ranch. I'm just pretty much not gonna drive the 7.3 until, I don't know. I don't know when this is all gonna end, two years from now? water on me all right guys um we left the window down for a couple years now i don't have a key to unlock the oh there is no transmission there's no transmission i know but is the wheel gonna lock on me i think so oh, didn't lock oh boy Alrighty guys, it's loaded and uh, chain binder. If you can remember all the body damage on this truck, it's not sh pretty. There's no rust, it's just dented. Perfect uh, kids truck project thing. Alrighty guys, made it home. Kyle doesn't lift too far. It was an easy pull. <laughs> I got to give Eddie where some credit is due. That thing pulls pretty nice being a half ton pickup. Got the kid out here. Um, Kyle had left the window down. Took the, We took the battery out. It's been down for a while. It's raining today, so kid got the battery swapped into it. What do you think? Be able to fix this? Yeah. Well, that was, that was dumb. <laughs> That's not good on your knees, dude. Got ourselves some healthy timber the other day from Papa's house. He lost a few trees. I got the kid in the pickup. And we got to unload the trailer so we can go get our quad. Nice and easy. That wasn't nice and easy. No, that was, that was kind of aggressive. Those steak pockets break, they break. I can make new ones. I've got plenty of wood laying around. I knew it was gonna happen. Keep going. Nice and easy. Hold on, go to low range, put it in neutral. There we go. I'm not getting that chain back today. How much damage did I cause? Fender's still intact. I don't care about the 2x4. Hard left. Back up. Now shorten your chain. Avante. Left, hard left, hard left, hard left. Go. Ooh, got her sideways a little bit. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going, make the loop. I'll move that metal when you get to it.
Holy shit, she moved. Damn, anyway, anywhere off the trailer is actually perfect right now. She's slipping. Oh well, that's where she's gonna sit. That's fine, at least we got them off the trailer. Keep going, keep trying to see if we can get at least most of them over there out of the way. She's still pulling. We just lost one. Keep going around the circle. Yeah. Keep going. Alrighty guys, well, back here in cold storage, we have, today we got home, I haven't been filming much today because it's kind of been boring. Um, we've got Copperhead skipping leg day now. Um, we got her on the stud rollies. And the Bronco is back up on her 35s. Got to come grab the V10 battery. Looking good. Step side is uh, outside soaking up some sun. It hasn't been outside in a year and a half. All right, guys. So the 302 and the E4OD are pulled out of this. Um, sun failed me on getting all my tools out of here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're probably, I don't know if I'm going to put a tarp over this. It, I don't think it's going to rain. Even if we got a little bit of rain in here, it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, but we're going back in. If you didn't tune in and watch the last episode, we're going back together with a old school 460, 429, 351. Basically, we're going to be going back with original hardware in here, carburation. We're not going to fuel injection swap this. Um, I'm throwing the talent. I just don't have the time that I used to to mess with projects. And it was getting complicated with how big the transfer case. Not having enough room on the side of the frame rail. Uh, we were going to be within like a quarter of an inch. And I didn't want to cut the frame. And I didn't want the engine to sit all the way over on the passenger side. So I threw the towel in. It, it defeated me. It's, it's doable. I know it's doable. But like I said, we're going to keep it original. All right, in the shop here, as you see, step sides out. Carpet cleaning vans are out. I think we're out of our freezing temperatures last night, but I think it was the last night of freezing. So we're just cleaning up the shop today. And in this video, we're going to uh, probably be pulling the 5.8 out of that guy, the $200 truck. It's not gonna, it's not gonna die. It's gonna, it's gonna live. So we're gonna pull it in with the new quad. I got a new Polaris uh, 570 quad. That thing is cool. It moves things around on the property with ease. Uh, so anyway, I'll catch you guys here in a little bit once we get done doing some cleanup. And basically, instead of having the this bay as our project bay, we're gonna kind of shift it gears over. We're gonna put the $200 truck in the middle. That way you can walk all the way around it. truck the rest of the way forward mm. if we need to we can move that toolbox out of our way too yeah put it don't know you're kind of over that direction i was hoping you would get over this way a little bit further but it, it is what it is mm -hmm. now awesome. 